Good morning guys. Yeah, another day. I've finished my coffee and I've already opened the shop up. And I've already uh, put my first round of customers on the water. Now I'm sitting here watching the tarpon tease me. I tried catching them a couple times this morning, but uh, yeah, that didn't work. So I'm going to think about food. Obviously I can't eat fish because <laughs> my fish catching abilities haven't been that great lately. But I, I wanted to show you guys one of the things that I do uh, here on a daily basis. And it involves the barbecue. Sometimes it'll get so busy with folks coming in and me loading kayaks, washing kayaks, whatever. I don't have time to attend to the barbecue. So I have a recipe that I read in a book once that I go to a lot and it's pretty simple. Let me show you how it works. First things first, we go into the dungeon here and there is a couple of potatoes in my ragtag potato hammock. <laughs> that sounds dirty. This is the book I'm referring to that, uh, by Rob White, How to Build a Tin Canoe. That book was suggested to me by somebody uh, that watches my YouTube channel. And what I did is I went to Audible and your first book is free. I'm not hawking Audible at all. As a matter of fact, I never did pay for any more books. I just got my first one free. And it was How to Build a Tin Canoe. But in there he talks about potatoes and sardines some of you guys out there are probably like oh that's gross <laughs> i like sardines uh, one of the things i really like about them is that it's very easy so let me show you my routine for making sure i can put something in my belly during a normal day <laughs> Down here in the smoker box is my charcoal stash. What I'll do is just make a small pile. What's nice about charcoal and cooking potatoes like this is when I get distracted, which is often, and I forget that the barbecue's going, the charcoal will burn out and my potatoes will not get ruined. So that should be a perfect amount. Kind of cover that up. Put a little lighter fluid on there to get that going. Move these so they don't get scorched. And yeah, let's light her up. Sweet. So now I'm going to let those charcoals do their thing, uh, get nice and hot. Meantime, I'm going to wash these off, put them in some tin foil, and we'll drop them on the grill. But now we wait. Okay, I think my potatoes should be ready. Let's see. Oh yeah, they look delicious. Okay, if I remember correctly, in the book, Rob White states that you take the potato, cut a hole in the potato. Ooh, that's hot. Hot. <laughs> so and then you open a can of sardines I've got sardines and water here but I think for this recipe sardines and oil work better so I'm gonna open that up 
And the recipe goes like this. Take one of the sardines and a little bit of oil and place it in the potato. Eat the sardine and a little bit of the potato and then as the hole gets bigger in the potato you keep adding more and more sardines until all the sardines, all the oil, and all the potato is gone. So how's that for a simple recipe? Mm. That is how I do lunch here as I live the life of Marty. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Catch you later.